Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be giving y'all some Kindle Unlimited recommendations. <laughs> So the Kendall Unlimited Readathon, if you didn't know, there is a Kendall Unlimited Readathon happening from the 27th of December to the 29th of December, so a little bit of a weekend after Christmas, and it is hosted by me and a bunch of other lovely ladies. This was all put together by Jess from Peace Love Books. I'm going to be linking all nine of their hosts down below for all of y'all to check out. I love every single one of them. Every single person on this list is like the epitome of a romance booktuber. I love them a lot. So I have 13 books to recommend to y'all today. They vary in like subgenre of romance, so I'm excited to share those with y'all. First, I'm going to talk about the books that are also available through Audible Escape. Audible Escape is another package you can add to your Audible account, a little extra fee to be able to have unlimited access to a certain number of books. Like you don't need a credit to access these books. So a few of these Kindle Unlimited books are also on Audible Escape, so if you want to, you can actually listen to a book in that little weekend. I know I'm going to, so here are some that I can recommend to y'all. First, we have Punk 57 by Penelope Douglas. I first heard about this book from Chandler from Chandler Ainsley, who is another host in this readathon. This is one of her favorite books of all time, and I listened to it this year actually, and fell in love with it. This book is about our two main characters, Ryan and Misha, and when they were in elementary school, they ended up becoming pen pals, and they have been pen paling for years up until actually high school, but then something happens to Misha to where he stops responding to Ryan's letters and she has no idea why Misha has stopped replying. Turns out Misha might end up figuring out who Ryan actually is and Ryan may be the exact opposite of the type of person that Misha assumed her to be. I would consider this a new adult romance. I really enjoyed it. There is a hate to love aspect. There's like a secret identity aspect. I really love the aspect also of pen pals. If you're looking for a wonderful pen pal romance, I totally recommend this one. I'm going to also be telling you what the page count of these books are in case you're wanting to keep your books that you're reading in that weekend under a certain page count. I know I don't want to read a book that is over maybe 350 pages. Punk 57 is 300 43 pages. Next we have Ice Planet Barbarians by Ruby Dixon. Who can go wrong with an Ice Planet Barbarian book here y'all? I absolutely love the Ice Planet Barbarian series and the spin-off series Ice Home. Um, I believe the first couple of books in this series is on Audible Escape, not all of them. This one is only 188 pages so it is a fairly quick read and I find myself when I read this book to go pretty quickly through it because it is such an entertaining and gripping read. I know it's gonna sound really weird, but this is a sci-fi romance book where women are captured by evil aliens and the spaceship they are put on ends up crash landing on a ice planet and the only inhabitants of this ice planet are blue aliens called Sukuis who have a symbiote in their body that indicates to them when their mate is near. So this is about human women mating, finding their lifelong partner with aliens. I know this book is not for everyone. I'm in it purely for the entertainment value of it. I find them very entertaining. I haven't given one of them five star, but I will read every book in this series because they're so entertaining and pretty smutty and I love them. <laughs> Next we have another Ruby Dixon book. If you are into dragon shifters, I have a fire in his blood for you. This is another audiobook read and it is 333 pages, so it is fairly longer than the Ice Planet Barbarians. I personally don't love this series as much as Ice Planet Barbarian, but this is a post-apocalyptic book. So this one is set on Earth, but it is after a uh, portal opens up in the sky and dragons end up flying through it and decimating almost the entire Earth except for a few little camps here and there. And it is about a dragon shifter falling for a woman who has been exiled from her camp. That's what the first book is about at least. Each book is about a new dragon woman couple. Also, just like Ice Planet Barbarian, this book is not for everyone. I'm in it for the entertainment value. I'm not critically reading these books whatsoever. I'm in it for the steamy times and the relationship. <laughs> I do really find these very enjoyable though. I listened to this one on Audible Escape and really enjoyed my time. Next we have Make Me Bad by R.S. Gray. I also listened to this one through Audible Escape and this one is 296 pages so it's fairly short. This one is a romance between a librarian and like a very famous person 
in the small town that they live in. The book starts out with this guy rescuing the woman, sorry I cannot remember their names at the moment, but rescues this woman on her birthday from being mugged. She is actually a librarian and I loved the librarian aspect to it. The love interest actually has to complete some community service that you will figure out in the book as to why he has to at the library. So it's them kind of being steamy in the library maybe. <laughs> I would categorize this book as kind of like a rom-com and I really enjoyed my time. The next Audible Escape and Chemical Unlimited recommendation that I have for you is The Gravity of Us by Brittany C. Cherry. This one is 271 pages and I recently read this for a video for reading the highest rated books on my TBR shelf through Goodreads and I loved this. If you are looking for an emotional book, very hard hitting, not that many steamy scenes whatsoever, maybe only one is in this book. It's so great. It's slow burn. It's very, it's a complicated emotional romance. So basically it's about our woman who loves to express herself, show her feelings, and the love interest is very closed off, especially after his, uh, wife leaves him and his premature newborn daughter and the woman basically helps him raise her and it's their love story and her also connecting with the daughter. Very emotional, cried at 1am reading this book so I totally recommend this one. And the last Audible Escape and Kindle Unlimited romance recommendation I have for you is Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. It is 407 pages. This one is a very big forbidden romance. This is a romance book between a woman and her boyfriend's dad. I know that sounds really weird. I was really skeptical going into this because I was kind of creeped out a little bit going in. I gave the book the benefit of the doubt and decided to give it a shot and I'm so glad that I did. This couple, they're not doing so hot. <laughs> like they're not doing well financially. So the guy's father lets them move in with him and he's very young, he's maybe, mid 30s I want to say and maybe sh the girl is 19. A romance starts up between the girlfriend and the dad but there are a lot of reasons as to why it happens. It's really complicated for me to talk about without spoiling something. Just know that it's not as bad as like the summary says like it's not. I really want to reread it again soon because I don't really remember all that much about it but I do remember really loving it. I will tell you a bunch of people in the romance community also love this book as well. Okay, so now we're going to be getting into the books that are not on Audible Escape, um, only through Kindle Unlimited. First we have It Takes Two to Tumble by Kat Sebastian, and this one is 309 pages. I love to pitch this book as the sound of music, but gay. <laughs> I loved this book. This is a historical romance, by the way, if you couldn't tell by the cover. This is about a vicar who ends up helping this navy captain's family. The navy captain, his wife, passed away many years ago and he's out at sea and, and his children are being very rambunctious as causing a whole scene through the town like every day causing a ruckus. So the vicar goes to his house basically to become a tutor or I want to say like a male nanny to help out and basically whip his kids into shape in like a nice caring way. Then the navy captain comes back home from sea, tries to reunite with his children who he's very distant from, and also maybe sparks up a relationship with the vicar. <laughs> I really enjoyed my time reading this book. Steamy scenes were fantastic. Next we have A Nordic King by Karina Halley. This one is 376 pages. So this is also an age gap romance and a royalty romance. This is about our main character woman who maybe is in her early 20s and she's very known for being the nanny for or popular, famous royalty almost, just high-end people. And she ends up getting a um, interview to be the King of Sweden's nanny for his two children because his wife passed away recently. But in the interview, the king takes one look at her and tells her no because he's attracted to her and he does not want to feel that way. <laughs> so he sends her away. But I think the girls that are his kids end up seeing her end up like falling in love with her so he has to hire her because the girls love her. It's their romance. It's kind of forbidden age gap. Royalty romance. I really love this one. It is my favorite out of the series so far. I've only read two of out of this series so it's a companion royalty romance series. This is the third one. 
but you don't need to read them in order at all. I read this one as a standalone and loved it. I didn't like get spoiled or missed anything from the previous books. I really love this one. One of my favorite royalty romance books and I hope y'all love it as well. Next one is an interesting one. We have Royal Dragon by Charlene Hartnady. This one is 308 pages. This one is interesting because it's another dragon book. <laughs> so dragons are a dying species, dragon shifters. They decide to do an age-old tradition to help basically heighten the population. They go and kidnap human women and put them in something called the hunt where these women are released into an area. It's basically a race. Dragons are released into the hunt and whatever human women they find and capture, that is their mate. And so it's about these dragons finding these mates. The man in this one, I believe, is the king's brother and he does not want a mate whatsoever but his brother is forcing him to be a part of the hunt and he ends up finding this woman in the hunt and then it's about their romance. Um, I don't really know all that much about it right now because it's been maybe over a year since I read this one. I do remember really enjoying it. Again, I was only in this for the entertainment value. I was not critically reading this book whatsoever. Next we have Hide Your Heart by Tracy Alvarez. This is a more serious romance and it is 282 pages. So this is about our main character named Alexandra but she has to change her identity and move to a very small town in New Zealand to hide from her abusive ex-husband with her four-year-old son. So her new name is Lauren and she is in this small town basically to not be noticed whatsoever. It's just gonna be about her and her son spending time together, being together, and being safe from her abusive ex-husband. Next we have a guy named Nate coming into the picture, um, and he's a photojournalist who wants to fix up the house next door to hers and sell this house as a celebrity retreat house. And it's basically about Nate and Lauren forming a relationship together, but she's very hesitant, obviously, due to some circumstances. <laughs> At the time that I read this, I remember it was one of the first ebooks that I ever read because I found it for free on Amazon. I remember really enjoying this one, and I hope that y'all do as well. Next, we have Make Me Burn by Tiffany Roberts. This is a fantasy romance book. So this is basically about a demon named Morthanion, and he has committed some evil things in his life. Some witches, I think, cast a curse on him to send him to an island that is completely ridden of magic. No magic whatsoever. It's basically a prison for people who have magic, who have done wrong with their magic. So he's really frustrated, really upset that he's been put on this island. And then one day he finds a woman in the ocean with magic. She's basically like a siren. He's like captivated by this woman. He has to figure out who she is. He wants to know who this woman is and why she has magic on an island that doesn't allow magic. I love this book. Not a lot of people have read this book. I just love the aspect of a big evil guy kind of like simmering down and becoming more gentle once he realizes, oh my goodness, this beautiful woman is in front of me. I need to stop being mean and scary. And the last book on my list that I have to recommend to you is another fantasy romance book, and that is Heart of the Fae by Emma Hamm. This one is a Beauty and the Beast retelling dealing with Fae. <laughs> this is about our main character named Iman, and he is a Seelie prince. He is basically set up to inherit the Seelie throne until one day his brother puts a blade in him and crystals start growing out of his body. And his people basically thinks he's cursed, so they exile him to an island to become basically the king of misfits, where misfits and people who are diseased are sent. Then our other main character is Sorsha, and she is a midwife, but not really. She wants to become a female doctor, but she lives in this place in time where women aren't allowed to do any of that stuff. So she says she's a midwife, which she actually is trying to help people with sickness. She really wants to help her ailing father, so she makes a deal with this witch. And the witch tells her, I will give you the cure to this disease if you go to this island and make the prince come to me. Basically kind of like the witch said and then the two of them up. <laughs> I really love this book. One of my favorite fantasy romance books of all time. It's on Kindle Unlimited. All of Emma Hamm's books are on Kindle Unlimited. If you want to get into fantasy romance, Emma Hamm is totally the way to start. Her writing is beautiful, just draws you in. I loved this book and I know that y'all will too. Anyways, there you have it. Those are some Kindle Unlimited recommendations for y'all. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books or 
if I convinced you to. Also, let me know down below if you plan on participating in the Kendall Unlimited Readathon. I'd love to see your TBR, what you plan to read. If you have those videos, link them down below too because I would love to watch them. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in the next one. Bye! Thank you.